What new parent doesn't have a phone full of baby pictures, am I right? Hi, I'm Erin, I'm a mom of two little girls and I take pictures for a living, so my camera roll is insane. I am also a Chatbooks super fan. Chatbooks is a ridiculously easy way to share, print, and enjoy your photos, and oh, do I have photos. As a pro and a parent, I know a thing or two about taking ridiculously adorable baby photos that you can't help but print. In this video, I'm going to show you modern setups that can easily be used for monthly updates or just for fun. All you really need is your baby and a camera phone. I love to include these in my month book photo subscription from Chatbooks. My girls love to flip through these, they love to see photos of themselves, and they're so easy to make on the Chatbooks app. Let's get started. Now before we dive into my creative baby photo ideas, make sure you subscribe to Chatbook's YouTube channel for more genius photography hacks, family photo ideas, and so much more. Between running after my little ones and running my own business, I don't have time to scrapbooks or be on my laptop to edit photos. That's why I love how easy the Chatbooks app is. Everything is on my phone and I can print high quality photo books that I will love and cherish forever and ever. We're going to start off really simple. Think of this as your creative warm up. First. Choose a spot next to a nice sunny window where you get plenty of indirect light. If there's a cozy rug on the floor, even better. Grab your cute baby and also grab a coffee mug. If you're a tea drinker, a teacup works too. For me, I'm a coffee girl. Hold the mug over the baby's belly so it covers most of the midsection and start snapping away. It's too cute and it takes seconds to do. Now let's try it with something else. Let's try watermelon. If you're feeling adventurous, go grab a cozy blanket and spread that out on the ground next to your window. Same thing, hold the fruit up so it covers your baby's belly in the frame and start snapping away. Look at you, you're a natural photographer. Now I think you're ready to have some fun. Let me just grab this little nugget and let's try something else. This trick works on pretty much anything, but I tend to feel like roundish objects look best. For an easy, inexpensive, colorful background, grab some poster board. If you love croissants, try a croissant. Got a tomato? Try a tomato. Your kitchen is your oyster. Ooh, oysters. No, they would get messy. But speaking of kitchens, if you're ready to take things to the next level, you can set up a little scene. I love working with these vinyl backgrounds from a brand called Club backdrop. They're beautiful and really durable. I have some baking essentials to go along with my cookie theme. And boom, look at that! How cute would this be as the cover of a family cookbook? These are just a few examples of how you can have fun with food, but the options really are endless. Chances are the first photo you ever had printed of your baby was a sonogram. So I love the idea of taking a before and after picture with this memento. You can see here that I'm starting with an adorable sleeping baby. Oh crap, I woke her up. That's okay. This gives me the chance to show you what to do if this happens in real life. It's okay if these don't work out perfectly the first time. Here's what you're going to do. I'm going to get the whole scene ready. I'm going to set her up in it and I'm going to wait for her to fall back asleep. We're going to use the headboard of the bed to create a cozy photo background. Drape a blanket over the headboard and spread it out on the bed. The higher the headboard, the better because it's gonna give you some more space to work with. One trick I like to use with blanket pictures like this is to roll up a towel and use it to prop up the baby just a little bit. You'll be able to get a better picture of their face this way. See, she loves being on her belly. Right back to sleep, thank goodness. Now since the background is so simple, you may want to play around with accessories to jazz this picture up a little bit. Ooh, this is so nerve-wracking. Phew. Move your camera around and experiment with different angles. This is why I love to use a sleeping baby in pictures like this. Oh, she looks like a little princess. If your phone has portrait mode, this is a great time to turn it on. With a blanket photo like this, it just sort of softens the background and makes it look more professional. See the difference? Okay, I'm obsessed with this idea. I love, love, love taking photos like this. We're going to take some mirror photos. Even if you have a big, beautiful mirror in your house, do not use it. You wanna get yourself a safety mirror for this. You can find them everywhere. I got this one on Amazon, they're not expensive. This way you know it's not going to crack or break or hurt the baby. Plus, this is just the best toy ever to have for your baby. I highly recommend getting one just for sensory play in general. Using it for pictures is just a bonus. Now with the mirror, you're gonna to have to move around a little bit to make sure that you can't see yourself or your phone in the reflection. If you want to take this to the next level, and I highly recommend that you do, take your mirror outside. Grabbing a few flowers from the garden, putting that on the mirror, it all just adds to the look and it's really, really fun. This works really well, especially with a smaller mirror like this, because the reflection that you're seeing is of the sky and of the grass and it just looks beautiful. If you love taking pictures, this is a really fun idea to play around with. 
This setup is perfect for monthly photo updates and super classic. I'm going to use my vinyl photo background for this one, but any simple surface will do. I'm grabbing whatever's close by to hold down those edges. This is the time to use a good quality faux flower. I think fake tulips look the most realistic. Real flowers wilt, they get messy, and that's not what you want with the baby. If you plan on using this setup for a monthly photo update, faux flowers are gonna keep your pictures consistent. So consider these an investment that you can use from month to month. Now you can use the flowers in many different ways. Check out Instagram and Pinterest for some inspiration. I really wanted to make a heart shape using these tulips and Chloe to fill in the rest. You get the idea. However, my delicious baby was too big and it just didn't work out. You have to stay flexible when you're working with babies. Cut yourself some slack. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna scooch her to the middle and play around a little bit. Most faux flowers have some sort of floral wire that runs through them, so you should be able to bend them to create any shape you need. This is a great way for her to practice her tummy time. This one feels really classic and feminine to me. Oh, one really fun idea if you're using this setup for monthly photo updates is to theme the flowers to the specific month. There are lists online, but January is carnation, February is violets, etc, etc, and then at the end you can make a book, a chat book. This idea is so simple but ends up looking so professional. I'm putting down a blanket for some padding, but you can do this on any comfortable surface. Pro tip! If you're going to take pictures without a diaper on, make sure you add a puppy pad underneath whatever your background is. It's going to give you peace of mind and will make cleanup a lot easier, heaven forbid. Now on top of that, I'm going to add a piece of black fabric. I got this from the craft store, but anything works. It's going to disappear into the background, so use whatever you have on hand. For this setup, you're going to need an extra set of hands, so either grab another person or grab an inexpensive phone tripod. They sell these for less than $30 and they usually have a Bluetooth remote. This way you can set up the timers snap a photo and your hands can be busy holding your baby. You'll see. When you cradle your little one in your hands, the black background gives the illusion that you are actually holding them up mid-air. You can do some really fun things with this. Make sure to crop out any floor if that creeps into your picture. And what you're left with is something that looks like this. I love this idea for a birth announcement photo or even a holiday card. Super, super chic. You have everything you need to take amazing baby pictures right on your phone. Get creative, take the pictures, and print them because every day is a big deal when you're a new parent. On most phones, you have the ability to edit your pictures right in your camera roll. I like to boost the brightness, contrast, and saturation. If you like a softer, dreamier vibe, you want to bring those elements down for a gentler look. Once you nail the look and feel that you want, send those pictures to print. That way you get those pictures off of your phone and into your family's hands so they can hold on to what really matters. Drop any photo questions you have in the comment section below. If you were looking for some more photo inspo, follow chatbooks on Instagram. See you soon!